little binary for pants. Who here has a dog? Okay, so everyone. And based off those hands, who did breed specific research before adopting a dog? So around half. So, so three of the biggest problems recently that have been landing more and more dogs in shelters and our three topics for today is people not doing their research, the puppy craze, and TV shows that show specific breeds. So this is my dog, Marley. She is a German Shepherd rat warrior mix, very high energy. So I feel incredible to talk to you guys about this today because I have a high energy dog. And I'm also a dog lover. And my whole life I've been reading and watching dog shows and just have a general overall knowledge. So what is breed specific research? Basically, it's just exactly what it sounds like going online or to a library and doing specific research on say a breed that you're interested in getting. When you do research, this tells you what you're gonna get. So size, personality, so forth. But also keep in mind that every dog is different, so it's not going to be an exact cookie cutter recipe every time, but generally you're gonna know what you're getting. So you may be thinking like, why do your research? So according to an animal rescue center called Canine Companions Rescue, it says, when you decide to add a new member to your home, it's important to do your research to make sure it will be a right fit not only for your family, but also your new best friend. Whether you're an active family or a couch potato, there's a breed mix that's right for you. And this part is really important. Remember, pet ownership is a lifetime commitment, so please put a lot of time and thought into your research what type of pet fits best with your family. This is like really important to, to remember. Dogs are a lifetime commitment, which means when you adopt a dog as a puppy or an adult dog, it's a commitment for the rest of their life, or it's supposed to be. A lot of people don't realize this, and when they get a dog, they're uninformed or an, it's an own impulse buy because they want it for their kids, or everyone has a dog, so they don't want to. So now that we've talked about research, let's talk about our next topic, which is the puppy craze. So these are some of the common breeds that people will buy. So you have a German Shepherd, Chihuahua, a Lab, Border Collie, and a mixed breed. So these are some of like the more common dog breeds that you'll see um, being returned to shelters, especially. Because people, or especially around the time of Christmas or three months following that is when shelters see the most puppies being turned in. This is because people don't realize what they're getting themselves into. So you have people saying stuff like, oh, he won't stop chewing my shoe, or he won't stop digging in the yard, or I didn't realize he was gonna get so big. This could all be prevented by people doing their research and knowing what they're getting into. And a lot of times it's the dog that suffers. They don't understand why they're in a kennel when they were just two weeks ago in a home. They don't understand what they did wrong. The answer is they didn't do anything wrong. With dogs, especially puppies, you need to train them and give them exercise and attention. You can't just stick them in the backyard and expect them to entertain themselves. There is an old saying amongst dog lovers, and it's, if you don't give your dog a task or a job, they're gonna give themselves a job. I can almost guarantee you it's gonna be something that you don't like like digging up the yard or chewing your shoes or barking at the mailman. These are all the things that dogs are going to do when they're bored or protecting the house. So let me sum this up for you. If you're not ready for the responsibility, don't get a dog. It's as simple as that. Just don't get one if you're not ready for the responsibility. And dogs are a huge responsibility. They're pretty much just like a kid or like training wheels for a kid. You need to take care of them. They depend on you. So I took three different um, surveys for um, choosing dog breeds. And while I got different results every time, the one breed that was on all three was the German Short-Haired Pointer. So keep in mind that just because I got this result on all three doesn't mean I have to go out and buy one. This just means that this might be a dog 
that I might connect with the most because personality, um, similarities. So now let's talk about how TV shows can hurt dog breeds. So by a raise of hands, who here remembers the movie growing up, Beverly Hills Chihuahuas? Okay, so most of us. And by another raise of hands, who has seen Game of Thrones? So about half. So these are just two examples of shows that showed breeds, specific breeds in their show or movie. And in the following weeks and months, these breeds were bought in excess and then within weeks and months dumped in shelters. So for um, six time, let's just talk about huskies. So for Game of Thrones lovers, this means any wolf-like dog. So you have huskies, German Shepherds, Irish Wolfhounds, and other breeds that are mixed together to produce a wolf-like dog. And here is a screenshot from the show. I've never personally watched it. And then this is two weeks after this episode aired, this guy went out and bought a husky because it looks like the puppies that were used in the show. So I cannot stress enough how irresponsible it is to buy a dog just because it was on your favorite TV show. You need to do your research. A lot of people don't realize how high-strung huskies can be. They are one of the most active breeds you can get. They were originally bred to pull dog sleds across hundreds of miles. So they're not gonna just be happy sitting in front of the TV or going for a 20 minute walk. You go for a 20 minute walk and you turn around and they're like, hey, what's going on? Like, why are we turning around? We've only been walking for a little bit. So if you're gonna get a Husky, do your research. I know there's a couple people in here that have Husky and you could attest to how high energy they are. So actors from the Game of Thrones show have um, put out multiple statements urging their fans to stop buying Huskies without doing their research. An actor by the name of P Peter Wakelidge put out multiple statements and one he said, we understand that due to the Direwolf's huge popularity, many folks are going out and buying Huskies. Not only does this hurt all the deserving homeless dogs waiting for a chance at a good home and shelter, but shelters are also reporting that many of these huskies are being abandoned, as often happens when dogs are bought on impulse, without understanding their needs. Please, please, if you're going to bring a dog into your family, make sure that you're prepared for such a tr tremendous responsibility. Remember to always adopt from a shelter. I can also just urge you guys, if you're gonna get a dog, adopt from a shelter. If you buy from a pet store, they're just gonna keep producing more and more puppies as the demand um, arises. Whereas shelters are literally euthanizing dogs just because they don't have enough space. So to wrap things up, what can happen with that research? Dogs and shelters, just because their owners did not realize what they were getting into. And what can happen with research, dedication, responsibility, and love? You can get a happy dog and a new addition to your family. Thank you.